Well, their recess appointments ruled unconstitutional, but that is not stopping President Barack Obama from just renominating two members to the nation's labor board. Now, it's been 406 days since they've been in the job. That's 406 days since you've essentially been paying their salaries for a job they can't do. They're not doing. And they shouldn't be doing. One reason the Workforce Fairness Institute just launched this clock to keep tabs on all of it. And group spokesman Fred Dulles says they won't stop until these appointees step down. You know what's amazing to me, Fred, is that they, they could still be doing what they're doing, whatever it is they're doing, and we're paying for it. Yeah, it's sort of a zombie labor board right now. The, the members aren't legally entitled to hold their jobs, but they keep killing jobs along the way. The thing to remember is that if their appointments are uh, thrown out by the Supreme Court, Every decision that they've touched in these 400 days and the days that come after will have to be done again at enormous expense. These unions and employers spend a fortune in legal bills to get to this point and to have to do it twice because these members are just belligerent uh, is just unfair to these employers and unions. Now, you're keeping track of this and how long in this count is going on, I assume through the whole legal labyrinth of appeals and everything to justify these appointments, but this could go on for how long? Uh, their, their appointments, their, their recess appointments should expire at the end of next year. So it can't go on all that long. Uh, but nothing moves quickly in the legal world, as you know. But in the and meantime, the we Court have been paying for them and doing everything, covering everything for them, even though in the end it might be ruled a complete sham. Absolutely. And, you know, if you read the plain language of the Constitution, this court got it right. These, are, these recess appointments weren't valid because the Senate wasn't really in recess. And the vacancies that they were appointed to didn't arise during a recess. It's hard to argue with this uh, D.C. Circuit opinion. So if the president keeps pushing, well, I'll just keep pushing these same people. What, what do you do? Well, you know, there was a lot of hope on our part that maybe Richard Griffin wouldn't be renominated. As you know, he was the top lawyer of arguably right. the most corrupt union. Some of their local unions opt like episodes of The Sopranos. And he didn't seem to pl play any real role in cleaning it up. But since he's been nominated the first time, he's been now named in an uh, embezzlement and extortion lawsuit, and they claim that he covered up the embezzlement of union funds. Now, there used to be the standard that you couldn't have the appearance of impropriety. That kind of looks like the appearance of impropriety to me. We hope that the president weren't, uh, wasn't going to renominate him, but he did. Man, all right. Thanks for keeping us buzzing. Thanks for just keeping the, the, the clock running. I think people should know that. Fred, thank you very, very much. All right, to the judge on whether any of this is even illegal or these guys.